Alright everybody, welcome back to Dragon Quest VI, episode 21. So, a little bit of a weird issue. Uh, I was recording for a while and then I realized OBS wasn't actually uh, properly recording. The recording had froze. So I kind of know a little bit of what to do, uh, unfortunately. So we actually have to go around these mountains. Um, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, I guess, and go to the shrine that we can now open up since we have the magic key. Um, and then we go through the shrine, and then we end up in the dream world, so, uh, and then we go to a town. Uh, so yeah, a little unfortunate, but sadly, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I know what I know, and I don't know what I don't know. Man, these guys suck. Stop swooshing me. Stop it. Finally. So yeah, um, there's nothing in here, really. Uh, there is a well beast in the shrine, though. Maybe I shouldn't have said that in case anyone's, like, watching this game instead of playing it for the first time or something. Um, but, oh well. Too late. I'm sorry. Okay, and we'll head in. And appear into the well. Uh oh a scare well appears. So this should be a pretty easy fight. Last one we kind of kind of wrecked him. It was pretty quick. Um, buff, and then he can't swoosh. He's immune to swoosh, so it's kind of pointless to use it. Um, Basically, just use some sap, some good buff, and that's that's pretty much the fight. It's not really that hard. There isn't really much else to it. He doesn't do any breath attacks. He doesn't do anything else. Okay, actually, he didn't do that before. It's still not really that big of a deal, but he didn't do it, so it's interesting. Uh, but yeah, casting good buff, pretty much. He's not going to do enough damage to really be a threat. Carver's gonna make pretty quick work of him here. You know what? Everyone just attack. I think we can kill him this turn. Wow, we got really lucky. Yeah, he, there you go. Pretty weak fight, um, to be honest. And now we're gonna go into the dream world. Yay! So, now that we're in the dream world, um, we go to the east here. Navon actually tells us to go to the east. Um, so, we're gonna follow his advice. Again. Uh, even though now it's my advice, technically. Going to my advice now. Uh, kill some turnips. And we're gonna be on our way. Uh, we also, last time we got a slime knight. We also helped the prince out, uh, by doing his little ritual thing. Um, and then we got the magic key, which I already said. Um, I actually forgot to do the intro properly because I already did it. Uh, so, the next thing we gotta do is, um... Well, okay, last time, uh, the la last thing I did was I bought a magic shield, because the hero can afford that, or the hero can, it's pretty much the best upgrade that we can get, uh, from, at least in my opinion. No, 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 no. I just want the magic shield for the hero, that's basically it. Yes. And that's pretty much it. And we are gonna get out of here. Uh, so I think last time I was in the process of figuring out there's some bed, flying bed thing. We saw the cat. Um, there's something in those drawers. But there's some flying bed thing going on. And we gotta figure out what that is. Um, apparently there's like a flying bed syndrome you'll see. I forget, who tells you about it? This guy does. I admit it, I'm the biggest flying bed fanatic around. But I'll have to find a new obsession if I don't catch a glimpse of it soon. So I have no idea what this town is for yet. Um, and this is pretty much where I left off, so... I kind of got lost, so I'm staying with these people for now. The flying bed? Gosh, yeah, I saw it once. The boy who was riding on it looked a little older than me. Is this our flying me mechanic in this? Let's see here. What sounds tasty today? Why do you have a name? My wife, Alicia, took in the boy we found wandering out, out from the spell back. Seems the poor lad got lost. Anyway, he seems unusually fond of my wife. I feel bad for the kid and all, but sometimes I feel like we're competing for her attention. Bro, you're gonna be a, he's gonna be in a uh, R34 manga where he's getting cocked by the Shota. I'm just saying, dude, you better watch out. I've seen the popular pages of hentai and hentai. Shotas are all the rage. I'm gonna stop talking now. Hark, I have journeyed many leagues to this hamlet chasing tales of a bed that flies. Forsooth, I figured only a fairy tale village would play host to such a romantic tale. Alas, the Mr. Magic Mystery Bed is missing in action, and this town's a bit of a bore. Tis the tale of my life. Man. <laughs> Poor guy. 
<laughs> he said, my life born AF. He said, it's boring here. Tail of my life, bro. Like, damn. Poor guy. Yes. 90 coins per night. Thank you very much. Arigato go zarimas. Uh, I'm hoping there's something in here because I feel like I've been to everywhere else and I don't know where to go. Traveling with the partner can be a rewarding experience. You look like adventurers, I'm sure you can relate. I mean, even if you hate the guy at the start, the hardships of the road build a powerful bond, right? Nothing in these drawers. Oh man, I blew it again. Uh, I'm sorry, boss. Anything in these drawers? Oh, oh nice. Okay, well, um, there's probably other buildings that I missed or something. This kind of looks like a Pokemon town, doesn't it? Like, I don't know. Ah, oh, wait. We haven't been in the church. <gasps> wait. It's a slime! What's up, buddy? What's going on? It sure is! Don't sniff on me like that! What am I doing? Waiting for the bed to fly out of the house, of course. My girly, I can't wait. This town is weird. This town is whack. These people are high as a kite. Murder may be a thing of the past, but the monster's swords show no signs of dwindling. Perhaps some evil is still to work there somewhere, but how can I explain this to our followers? They believe all is well in the world again. Man, you're telling me that there might be a bigger guy than Murdoch? Dude, that's that's crazy. There's no way. We already beat the big bad. The game is basically over. This is the post game, dude. This is actually the post game. We've been playing the post game for like half an hour. Or more than half an hour. Good day! Come to see the flying bed, have you? No, sucks. I hate to be a wet blanket, but we haven't had a bed starting in quite a spell. That house up there has been empty for ages, but there's some funny business going on, by golly. I saw the flying bed staunch launch from the second floor balcony once, swear to goddess. What do you got to say, buddy? The boy in this grave was more than my master. He's my best friend. Mind speaking a prayer for him? Maybe it'll fetch him some happiness in the afterlife. F in the chat. Oh. Sugoi. Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot. Uh, okay. You don't have anything to say. Anything else? Anything? Hey, hello? Anyone else in this town? I wanna talk to the Healy again, maybe something else happens. Healy boy! Uh, doing the same thing? Yep, okay. Okay. Just making sure I can't like jump off or something. Uh, okay, well, uh, this is a bit of an issue. We haven't really found any information that's kind of useful. I already talked to these guys. Probably not on the fact that there's nothing in this town. There's got to be something here. DQ never just puts towns in places because it's just because. Could you imagine though? That would be some shit. You go into a town, you're like, all right, they're talking about this bed sighting. It has to be here, and then it turns out like there's just nothing in the town. It's just there because of like decoration. That'd be wild. That would make your JRPG so much harder. Like yeah, you have to figure out if this town's actually got anything in it. And like they talk about an item and it turns out the item just actually doesn't exist. It's like there's a fabled tale of the magical gem that can cure ailments and your one party member's like poison. You're like, oh right, I gotta find out where this gem is and it actually just doesn't exist. They're just lying to you. That'd be crazy. You go searching for the gem and the game's like, oh, what an idiot, dude. You actually believed it. Must be feeling even weirder than I am. Uh, what if I say no? That's just as well. That's been quite a spell. 
My bread and butter. I hope you don't try and, you know, spread it and eat it as if it was bread and butter. That'd be kind of gross. Um, I don't know. Hmm. What do I do here? This is shaping up to be a fun adventure, I Ethan. What a perfectly lovely town. May the goddess bless this town. Hmm. Wow. I don't know what to do. I am going to talk to the kid again. What did you have to say? Okay. Five locker. You're not going anywhere. Hmm. Like, I'm just saying, dude, you're getting cocked by the Shota right now. Um, I really don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do. Maybe I don't do anything here. We just leave. I guess we just leave. No one else says anything, so maybe we just don't do anything here? I mean, we checked every house, we talked to every person, no one had anything to say. It seems like the bed sighting hasn't been in a while. It's not dead? Come on, die. Die. What the heck, it's not dead still? No way. No way. Uh. Alright, well... I knew it could explode, but I didn't... Well, no, because doesn't it usually do Kerplunk? In DQ, like, 5 and 4, they do Kerplunks. So that kind of caught me off guard. We only need to heal up, um... Navon and have him just cast Zing at lunch. Hmm... Kind of a cheat code, but also not, because, like, to be fair, he does waste a lot of mana doing it. Unless it does the first one, then that's, I would say it's pretty worth it. Wait, Gawain knows heal? Oh, snap. I really wish that he would have used my mana, but unfortunately, handy, handy heal law does not exist in this game. Because the only one other spell for him is Zoom and Peep, and they only cost one MP. So it's much better to have Hero heal out of battle, even though he has to use a lot of heals to do it. Please, no more rock tombs. Thank you. Fuck those guys. Ugh. Mega annoying. Level up. Let's see, who do we get? Gawain leveling up, finally. Okay. Uh, it looks like there is nothing else to do. We have a staircase, okay. Remember how I said this episode won't be me just traveling around doing nothing? I lied. This is absolutely gonna be a tra fuck. That is epic, dude. I love getting one shot. Ugh, oh, so annoying. Oh, cast bang. And you guys are big old buttholes. Oh my god, why do they do so much damage? Alright, well, at least they died pretty quick. Oh, it's the real MC, dude. Come on. There we go. Castile like eight times. Ugh. Castile on yourself. Um, where do we go? Where in the world do we go? 
Uh, his existence is not ending his existence. I said end his existence. Not tickle him. Oh my god, it's the hands, dude. It's the handos. It's the JoJo reference. Well, at least they're mostly dead. Alright, I think I'm going to, uh, just so this episode doesn't turn into a complete waste, I'm going to uh, pause the episode and go look around and see what we can find. Uh, so I'll be right back when I find something. Um, so I will, uh, as soon as we get this battle. Uh, drain magic. Pog. Useless. Um... Oh wait, actually, we're for it, okay. Unless we find something like at the end of this path, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are back. We have found something just a little north of where we were, not far. Um, so I don't know what this actually is. Oh, we can climb up rocks. Okay. Gas begins. Okay. Interesting. Ah, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not cool, bro. Okay, I need to pull out some big spells against these guys. Fuck. Oh my god, he didn't die. Pull out some cracks and some swooshes. Jeez. Sheesh. Wow, he's still not dead. Okay, that guy's dead. Ow. Yikes. Those are some decently strong enemies, actually. Gawain is slowly leveling up. He's gotten, he got like a few levels while I paused the video. Not that many, though. Mostly nothing changed, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Interesting. Stop me. Stop it. Stop it. How are you not dead? I really need casing because... The zing is awful. It's actually so slow. Or so mana-wasting. These guys have a lot of... Oh my god. A lot of... Hmm. Uh... No! Really? You couldn't just not attack? He had to do something. He had to do a final blow before he left, dude. He said, I'm gonna... My final message. Change the world. Kill everybody. We live in a society. Wait, hang on. I grab the chest. A seed of life. I think Navon is probably the best candidate. Since he's such a low health. So I guess this counts as a dungeon, judging by the music. I mean, it kind of is because, you know, random encounters is kind of... These are some pretty hard random encounters, though, actually. Did he just learn Kabuff? No, it was Gawain who learned Kabuff. We might have to pull out Gawain here, actually. Because the Vaughn's about to run out of MP. Which is pretty bad. Alright, and he's dead. You should be- wow, not dead. Oh, I should've healed Millie. Oh boy.
Oh, I thought I thought squash a squash cost a lot more. I think it used to. Alright, there's kind of no point on healing Devon because we're about to switch him out. Oh, wait, we can't? Oh, I guess not. Well, we're already this far, so. Man, screw these enemies. Sheesh. Devon is really lucky. I forgot to kill him, so. He could have died, but it's okay. I planned it. It was all part of my plan. All part of the plan. Platoon damage, part of the plan. Carver getting poisoned, part of the plan. All part of the plan. My 500 big brain plan. 500 IQ, big brain, big brain plan. Alright, we got Gwyn to level 9. 216 gold coins. Poison again. Actually, I think we have an antidote. Antidote to our herbs, don't we? No? Could have sworn we did. Where's the antidote to our herbs? I could have sworn we had antidote herbs. Oh well. I guess we used them already. Alright, and we keep going. Wow, this is pretty high. Ooh, some cloud surfers. Okay. And they're pretty strong. Uh -oh. I would say casting bang here is probably a good idea. Oh, step on me, daddy. Nice. Good wombo combo. That last seal was probably unnecessary. I must get that 4 HP, it's necessary. I have to, okay? I absolutely needed that 4 HP. That could be the difference in life for life and death. I joke, but actually that is true. It, it definitely could be. It probably won't be, but... It's a good point, actually. Good point, me. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Good job, Carver. Carrying the team as always. Carrying as always. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna have to cut like halfway through the dungeon because it's uh 23 minutes in, and it doesn't look like we're even close to the edge of the dungeon, which is not ideal, to be honest. Plus, like, we're gonna have to get out of this dungeon anyway, because it would seem as though we're running out of MP and resources. And if it's a normal dungeon, we're probably gonna have to... Okay. Interesting. We're probably gonna have to, uh fight a boss at the end of this. Although maybe not, actually, because this one seems like it might just be a passageway for getting one area to another. Ah, these things are annoying. Unbelievable, dude. And that should be it. Never mind. Oh, he dodged it. That should be... nope. Bruh, really? Bruh! Man, heck these wasps. They're not annoying. Thank you. Dwayne getting level 10, very nice. No new level, or no new skills though, but still. 
Nice nonetheless. I'll go ahead and heal Millie back up. I thought we did. I thought we fell. I was like, what? Skilling a coup. Skilling a quip for SWAT and monsters are kind of fun on their own. Doing both on their own at once? Not so much. The way up is quite convoluted. Let's make sure we don't get lost. The enemies here are formidable. We must keep our guard up. Of course. I get it. Guard, because it's, a, it's the bug spray. Get it? You get, you get, you get the bug spray? Because they're, they're bugs? Bro, this game needs more polish. It's so buggy, SMH. Developers sending out half-assed games now. Although, that's actually a big issue. Like, seriously. I think like it's always been an issue where developers refuse to polish their games. And it's like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. And it's like, ah, oh, why are you like this? And then there's, like, also some companies that, like, will polish their games and then they'll be shit, like Nintendo. But honestly, better you polish a game and it's shit than you polish a game and it's just garbage, or it's good and then it's... I don't know. Polish is important. Firaxis in general is like who I'm kind of uh, referring to at the moment at least. They are like by far one of the most... Um, most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Guilty of not polishing games that could be really good. Specifically XCOM and Civ. Especially XCOM. Like, because in XCOM, like, you have a lot of weird jittery issues, or weird pacing issues, where it'll be like, oh, uh, I'm going to, um, oh, I see. I'm going to, uh, do an action, and they're gonna be like, okay, cool. And then I'll do an action, like, I'll, I'll shoot with a soldier or something like that, and the game's like, alright, cool. And then it just freezes, the camera doesn't know what to do, the game is just frozen for a few seconds, while the game, like, kind of computes what's going on. And it just feels weird, like, why is there that weird pause, like, it shouldn't be like that. And even, like, not only that, but, like, there's also, like, a problem with, like, things, certain things are just too slow, like, moving the Avenger around is too slow. Um, moving the, yeah, just moving the original Avenger around is way too slow. Which is why there's, like, a mod to make it faster, which, like, and to be honest with you, it's kind of necessary. Otherwise, you're going to be spending so much time waiting for the freaking Avenger to finally reach its destination. So, you kind of need it, honestly. It's kind of a necessity. Otherwise, you're gonna literally spend, like I said, you're gonna spend like half your game time on, on just getting people, uh, or on just getting the Avenger where it needs to go, which is incredibly frustrating, and no one wants to do that. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't see it from up there. I have to guess. Come on, man. Ow, that did so much damage. Oh god, I might be dead. Ow. Oh, Carver, why are you missing? You can't miss? Oh, I'm dead. Alright, yeah, we back out of here. No. Alright, we flee. We out of here, boys. Just enough MP to cast evac. All right, that area is pretty hard. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to be back. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and cast zoom back to. Wow, this area sucks. Like you have to go really far, and then also, like you have to go pretty far, and then you have to. Yeah, that's kind of iffy. That's really annoying, actually. Is there another town nearby that we can go to? I feel like there kind of has to be, right? Like. Where else would he, where else would the town be? He has 10, 10 MP now. I feel like we kind of just, uh, I don't know. All right, yeah, we're just gonna. I hate to do this, but I think I'm just gonna say. Actually, wait, no, I don't want to do that. No, 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 I don't want to do that at all, actually. Cause we we came here through the well. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that at all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some holy water really quick. Uh, 
And, uh, no... Don't do that. And, uh, hopefully... Oh my god, are you serious? The second I say, hopefully we don't have to fight any enemies, the game's like, What's that? You wanted enemies? I give you enemies. Game said, is that what you want? You want enemies, right? Oh, nice. Nice find. Wait, wasn't this the town that we were just at? We were just at this town. Why didn't it show up in the zoom list? Huh. Unless, no, this is, this is the other clear veil, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is the other clear veil. Okay. Alright, well, we kind of made some progress. We found the real clear, clear veil. Yeah, this is, this is the other clear barrel. Okay. Alright, well, maybe we don't do the climbing thing right now. Um, we'll go ahead and do clear barrel, but I will see you guys, uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Bastard, pray tell us, our son Matthew. Do you think he was happy? From the moment he was born, he was bedridden with illness, and before he could arise, he was taken by the goddess. He was only ten years old. I have a hard time believing he ever knew happiness. Come now, love. We shouldn't dwell upon such things. That's what the pastor said, isn't it? Even Matt's death at such a young age is all part of the goddess's plan. Part of his fate. I hate people who are religious who think that's a thing. It's dumb. Only Matt himself can say whether that fate was a happy one or not. But... Em, if I may, there is no doubt that young Matthew's passing was a tragedy of the highest order. However, looking at the two of you, there is one thing I can be sure of. Any child who received that much love from his parents couldn't possibly have been unhappy. I have no doubt that Matthew felt your love for him, and I'd bred it to that it brought a great happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I save now? Well, let's head home, love. We need to put that first flower on the mat's grave. Yes, of course, darling. Game, come on. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I just want to end this recording. Alright, I hate to do this, this is probably a bad recording, but I really want to get an episode up tomorrow, and I, I'm i pretty tired, so I'm not really in a recording mood. Um, so, maybe tomorrow I'll uh, try to get an extra long episode out. Probably not. Probably won't happen, to be honest. Uh, I could try, but I don't think it's going to be happening. Uh, because I'm supposed, to help, I'm supposed to be helping my brother move tomorrow, and I'll probably be tired again because of that, so. Alrighty, uh, anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.